All right, George. Drink after that. You just saw Yared run 3:43 for the mile. What's your reaction? That's unreal. Yeah. The signs I mean, have been there in practice. They have. Yeah. I mean, and he's he has that confidence in him. Like it's different to I feel like Jakob and and Josh have that confidence that borders on on pretty cocky. But I think Yared like secretly has that. He just shows in a different way. And I think. At that level, you have to have a bit of that. You have to think you can run. Oh, yeah. Three well, the whole banter in the press conference, <laughs> I was like, you're funny. doing that to the wrong person. This doesn't phase. <laughs> you are right. Yeah. All right. So your own race. How'd you feel today? Your season's over now. Yeah. I felt pretty average, honestly. <laughs> um, it was so hot out there. Just beating sun. Another 85 degree steeple race. Or distance race. Um, but cool to be here nice to be healthy and and still pretty fit in, in the middle of september so um can't be too unhappy with it and being at the last two diamond league finals um watching ollie mostly and the rest of the team and then to be here this year is is, is pretty cool so hopefully we get a few more i'm waiting for you to say like i am george beamish and i'm a steeple chaser you're like <laughs> you're like kind of still wavering and like committing to being a, I'm a steeplechaser now I don't think I need to commit but I felt like <laughs> I felt like I, I had a shot to win today like without German and Albert Kali, um, I felt like I could have run 806 to 808 for like to be in it for the win but um, just didn't have it out there yeah just felt a little flat and um, what do you think is the piece of your steeple technique that you need to work on the most <sighs> I don't know. It just gets hard to keep running 65s in the middle, honestly. Um, and saying that, like, it, it's easier to hurdle going fast, but it just gets hard. Yeah. Uh, like any race. George, you were so close to George Mills uh, last weekend, and now he just ran 347. What could you have done in this mile? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so hard to tell, yeah. like, whether I, like, some days... That kind of rate, like, fast 500, I just feel so out of my depth, and then um, some days it feels alright and I can have a, a good close, but, um, no, I'd love to run a few more 1500 miles next year, um, already got the standard for Paris out of the way, and hopefully it can just, um, might be a little easier to, to get my name on a Diamond League start list a little earlier um, this year, so hopefully I won't have to run as many steeples next year. Yeah. How's, what's the off-season plan? The gala? Um, I'm leaving for New Zealand in like five hours. <laughs> Your flight's boarding right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I actually have to be at the airport in like three hours. So. Yeah. All right. Well. That's, that's the plan. Yeah. And then the gala when I get back. All right. Perfect. George, yeah. appreciate you taking the time. Thanks.